Well, here's the truth. The truth is this. God provides for us so that we can provide for others. Look at this little-known financial principle in 2 Corinthians 8, 14. It says, at this time, you have plenty of money. What you have can help others who are in need. Then, when they have plenty, they can help you when you are in need, and all will be equal. What's he doing? He's given us a financial principle that I'm pretty sure most of you have never heard. And the financial principle is this, that God creates his people to be holy conduits of his provision to a lost and dire world. Do you know what a conduit is? A conduit is, I learned just enough in, when I did electrical work to, t- to tell you what it is. A conduit is what we used in the electrical field to get the electrical wire from one end of the house to the other. It's a pipe. A conduit is what we use to get the electrical wires from one end of the job site to the other. A conduit is what we use to get water from one place to another. And what God is teaching us through 2 Corinthians that God created us. He made us holy conduits of his provision so that the provision from heaven can come down through us so that it can go out to the world. It can go out to others. It can help others. You do understand that God gives to you so that you can give to others. We were never designed to keep God's provision. We were never designed to hoard God's gifts. We were never designed to keep what God gives us. Proverbs eleven twenty four 24 says this, give free and become more wealthy be stingy and lose everything you see there is a high cost for you to keep God's provision into your life there is a high cost for you to keep what God has given you and not give to others there is a high cost for you to keep what God has given and refuse and be stingy in sharing your resources with others you see why does God want us to provide for others so that he can give more to us 